I'm holding the latest DigiRig in my hands. Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, spoiler alert right out of the gate. This product is not available yet. Uh, Dennis from DigiRig reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to check out his latest prototype board. And I thought you guys might be interested in getting a sneak peek at it. Now, just to make sure there's no confusion, this new prototype board will not replace the original DigiRig. The original DigiRig will still be available. This will just be a new offering in the lineup. Now, I do want to compare this really fast to the original DigiRig. So just so we can get a good size comparison, I took the original DigiRig out of the metal enclosure that it comes in, and you can see it laying there. Now, let's drop this other one in there right beside it, and you can see that it is roughly half the size of the original. On the top right there, you will notice that there is a USB plug. So the USB is part of the board itself. And guys, the design might change on this a bit. Uh, this is still really early on. So uh, just kind of giving you a sneak peek of what I've had in my hands. Now, it is a bit different from the original because the original one contained both audio and a serial port on it. This one only contains an audio port, so one single jack on the back side of this. And the way that works is this presents itself as an audio sound card on your computer, and then you use PTT through a CM108 chip. So it's quite a bit different from the original uh, DigiRig that used uh, RTS signals over the USB for the PTT control. So this is going to have uh, more specific applications than the original DigiRig. What I'm excited for is this will be a great replacement board for the full DigiRig that I'm running in my APRS portable DigiKit. No pricing data has been released on this kit just yet, but I do have a couple of these to play with. I have already found one little bug and reported back to Dennis, and he's going to be fixing that in the next revision of the prototypes before these things go to full production. You'll notice on the screen that I have both of mine laying there side by side. One of those I wrapped in heat shrink just to give it a little bit of protection while I was playing with it. Something else I wanted to note here is it is compatible with my original DigiRig cables, and Dennis is working hard to keep that compatible with all of the original cables. So far, I've been able to get this new DigiRig prototype board working with Direwolf and Vara FM inside of Linux Mint. So just a bit of a sneak peek today so that you knew what was in the pipeline at DigiRig. I think this might be a really cool board for some specific applications. If you found today's information interesting, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.